Good evening, friends. Operational situation. By the end of the 11th of June, we will analyze the kapisko Svodovsky section of the front in more detail with you. Of course, we will analyze the Pokrov direction. Well, and let's talk about the Chasovyarsky. We will start with the actual SCO of the matchmaking site from the Kapinsky direction. Today, we continue active hostilities in the area of both Ivanovka in the direction of Stepovaya Novoselovka. And from the area of Orlins, it is also Orlianka in the western and northwestern direction from the settlement. If we are talking about Ivanovka Stepovaya Novoselovka, a gray zone has been previously added. The enemy continues the assault actions further. We have already said before that there were attempts along the railway, we corrected the situation, so along the railway. There were attempts to do a typical new settlement. Now attempts are already being made again, as was the case with Ivanovka, they have caught on to the southeastern tip of the beam. The situation is similar at Stepovaya Novoselovka, they are trying to break through this beam, so a gray zone has been previously added. And a clarification on the red zone. Active assault operations are continuing. Motorized rifle units of the enemy attack both Vostokny, the typical Novoselovka itself, and try to bypass it to the northeast. Another news from this direction concerns the official statement of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. Today they reported that they managed to take control of two settlements. The first one is Artemovka, aka Myasozarovka, and the second one is Timkovka. With Timkovka, of course, they overdid it, probably yes, but perhaps they used old Soviet maps, namely old Soviet maps. Although it seems like there is Glonis, it would be possible to double-check. Why do I say that? Because the village of Timkovka, it was liquidated back in 1987 year, that is, before the collapse of the Soviet Union. It has not existed for more than 30 years. Well, and the Ministry of Defense, respectively, the Russian declares its capture. What is Timkovka? In place of Timkovka, rather, it is just the same north of Ivanovka, from a typical Novoselovka. This is an empty field. And in general, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation declares that they have taken control of an empty field. Maybe. Perhaps, indeed. Therefore, this statement on their part is not entirely clear. Well, that's fine. It was necessary to comment, because it seems like they took a whole settlement, even some indicate a village. Well, there's really nothing here. Maybe there are three or five trees, and that's it. Therefore, we proceed with you further. Their second message concerns Myasozarovka, which in the past was really called Artemovka. Previously, near Myasozarovka, we stated attacks by Russian troops, and in general, we have talked a lot with you. That there are a lot of attacks in the direction of Stelmakovka, and a high pace of hostilities has been maintained recently although we have not commented on it for several days. So, before, as you remember, we added a gray zone with you, the enemy then attacked, we then talked to you. That we managed to repel the attack, but it is not known whether we returned to the starting position. The attack was repelled a little to the west of these positions, but then where they retreated, there is no information. There was information that it was possible in the area of a T-shaped intersection. Well, it means that today there are reports that the whole meat frying plant is under their control. So far, I will say this, there is no visual confirmation of this information. But Sazharovka is not quite a large settlement, it is difficult to defend it if, if, an important remark. You start to put pressure on it, including with the support of operational and tactical aviation. Which is actually what the enemy is doing, including in this direction. Therefore, we are clarifying the information on the meat frying. Previously, let's say, there has been a red zone for more than a week, but this was all for clarification. Because there are active assault actions. In any case, there are also no photo-video confirmations from the enemy, while in the same neighborhood, the channel of the Hour of the Warrior. Yes, more than five flags have already been installed there. Or the city of Krasnogorskovka, in the Donetsk direction, the Kurikov direction, there were also more than ten flags installed although half of the settlement has not yet been taken there. Therefore, we expect concrete confirmations of the situation from this direction. But there may be a situation such as with Timkovka. An open field. So far, we have not recorded any significant changes in the Saversky direction. 
we turn to the Pokrovsky direction, where we have the main minus today. By the end of the day, further reports were received that the fighting in Novo Alexandrovka was gradually moving into its western part, but in fact it was the western, northwestern, northern part of the settlement. Yes, indeed it corresponds to reality. Whether the enemy will be able to gain a foothold, this is, let's say, a matter of time, unfortunately. Because against the background of the promotion that was, of course, that is most likely to succeed. Therefore, we are still waiting for visual information on this site. And south of the Falcon, they gained a foothold in a number of positions, footage was published from the Afu fighters. Of the attack on Russian positions, which means they caught on and secured themselves along the Samoylev beam. As we have already talked with you, we have a small intersection, an interchange, a forest belt, and accordingly, attacks have been going on Sokol for about a week. Yes, and including with the support of armored vehicles, so the enemy has positions there. A red zone has been added on a section up to 1 to 15 kilometers wide to a depth of up to 700 meters, including positions to the north. There was also information that they were entrenched in them in the direction of the fortified area. The situation looks like this. And of course, the enemy continues to press both in the direction of the Falcon and in the direction of the fortification. At the same time, there is no need to think that now they will storm the fortifications of the area because there are still, do not forget, a number of fortifications along the railway and accordingly they can turn off as it has already happened many times and try to close this ledge. Everything will show soon. It is, unfortunately, the nearest one so far, we state. Novo Pokrovskaya, there are also reports throughout the day that fighting has begun for settlements. There is an enemy entrenched on its outskirts. There are several small plantings there in which it is present. And accordingly, from these landings, attacks on the settlement itself are already beginning. Therefore, yes, the Pokrovsky direction is now really burning very much. Because the enemy is conducting a very large number of assault operations during the day including with the support of armored vehicles, including with the support of operational and tactical aviation, so a very difficult situation remains. For the first new settlement, we have not yet fixed any changes to date. In addition to what was already said on the previous broadcast, that the enemy is storming along to forest belts in the north direction, trying to gain a foothold and, accordingly, pull up forces in order to begin the assault on the outskirts of the first Novoselovka. Moving on. According to Krasnogorovka and Konstantinovka, the direction of Krasnogorovka, the direction of Konstantinovka. We do not fix changes. As for the Velikonovoselkovsky direction, further information is received during the day that the enemy is conducting assault operations. We also said on the previous broadcast that the enemy, of course, that in the near future, he will have to clean up and consolidate in the northern part and, accordingly, he will transfer part of the forces that he had concentrated to harvest, he will begin the assault on harvest. Only he is still leading it with an infantry unit, what they saw. And we have said that there is still a crossroads to be clarified, because there were shots where the enemy conducts assault operations. But the result of the battle remains to be clarified. And at the same time, there is information that, in any case, they are trying to pull up forces now that is, along the wet Yali River, respectively, in order to hit the development of the crop. Well, we have a small landing along the river, a forest belt, rather. Forest belt. And try to get out of it. Although there have been attacks before, including with the support of a motorized rifle unit. Then we had minimal adjustments added, but, as we see, the enemy will now only increase the pressure on the yield. So far, we are stating the situation at the clarification in the area of the intersection. Previously, on the previous broadcast, we added a red zone, who missed it, so part of the development along two streets, came under the control of the enemy. This is the situation we have by the end of the day, by the end of the 11th of June. Pokrovka, as you can see, the direction remains very, very difficult, and the enemy is really there and is now striking the main blow. Although a lot has already been said for the Chasover direction, which we have now bypassed, that they are pulling up strength. And there is information that they will continue to transfer it to Bakhmut itself. But look at the situation. There were reports that the movement of Lugansk-Kolchevsk in general is towards, most likely Bakhmut.
but it is also towards, conditionally, Gorlovka and Donetsk. And Donetsk is naturally in the direction of Pokrovsk, that is, in the Pokrov direction. Therefore, the fact that something is moving there, so far it is difficult to say whether it will be sent to Bakhmut. Whether it will be sent to the Pokrov direction, involved. In any case, there are a number of difficulties in the hourly yar, in the city itself, I mean the canal microdistrict. The enemy continues, of course, the assault actions. Today he published footage of artillery strikes and F drones on the multi-story building. And what does this mean? We have already said that along the front as a whole, we periodically observe a decline and an increase in the activity of their tactical aviation in neighboring areas. As soon as the Kharkiv direction intensified, yes, the number of air bomb strikes decreased in neighboring and in a number of directions, including the Kurakovsky direction, including the Yarskoy direction. And here are today's shots, where they strike high-rise buildings and beer with drones and artillery, of course, and mortar calculations. You wonder if two aerial bombs would be enough there, but they do not use. Why? Because they have two directions now. The first one is Pokrovsko, the main blow. The second difficult one is the Volchansk direction, where they have a number of problems so far, where the situation is dynamic. Positions are shifting from one side to the other. They are making a lot of attempts, although I will not say that they have very large forces there. They act with small forces. And accordingly, this raises the question of whether to use reserves in front of them, and you know, well, again. Trained reserves are worth a lot, as they say, yes. Or use them in another direction. And the main task for their Russian command is to capture only the northern part of Volchansk. Because no one is talking about the southern part, which is bigger, so far, as we understand. The main thing there is the north. Naturally, the longer the north holds on, the longer we see the situation in other directions, different. Not as negative as it was before. And accordingly, there are small, but stabilization measures that have given at least partial success. Relative, relative stabilization has occurred in a number of areas. And at the same time, we see that, yes, they are not doing so well with tactical aviation. But there is one more news, they published it, this is that they are increasing the number of trained pilots in the Russian Federation. Which accordingly leads to a number of thoughts. Of course, they will increase the activity of tactical, operational tactical aviation, but we see that they just need pilots for operational tactical. Right now, they have started recruiting and training. And accordingly, it is not strategic. We emphasize right away, that is, it is not that. This is exactly for operational and tactical. Therefore, there are nuances. With airplanes, I will say, there is prosperity there, but with pilots there is not, as it turned out. Not so good. Which is actually kind of weird in a way, because... Well, this is a serious, let's say, tactical aviation rate, yes. And if we see an increase in one area, and a decline in the other at this moment, it seems to indicate that they still have gaps. And not everything is so good. It is clear that not everything is so bad, because they are moving forward, let's face it. But let's just say there is something to think about in the long run. Be healthy friends. With you like, subscribe, comment. Have a nice day.